This is the Nintendo Switch Lite, the latest generation handheld gaming console that were released in 2023 by Nintendo Corporation. Nintendo is one of the video game companies that has established since 1889 in 2023. We can see that many technology companies such as Valve and Asus have made their own handheld gaming consoles. Also Nintendo itself. The Nintendo Switch Lite design was so slim and sleek as the brick material were made from matte plastic. The advantages of using this kind of material is it will make the console only weigh 277 grams only and will not trap any fingerprint marks at all, making it looks clean even without any case attached. At the front, it has a 5.5 inch LCD capacitive touchscreen display that displays everything that happens in your console. The screen resolution were kept at 1200 80 times 720 pixels per inch. The max brightness needs you could get within the screen is around 380 nits. At the top, we can see a heat dissipation chamber to keep it cool during gaming session. A power button, the volume up and down buttons, a game card slot which can be used to insert a physical game cartridge and also a 3.5mm headphone jack for audio. At both sides, we have multiple buttons designed specifically for gaming purposes. Starting at the top left, we have the left button and the ZL button. Moving on is the negative button, left joystick, the arrow navigation button which we often call the D-pad. And last but not least, a capture button to capture a screenshot during the game session. Similar to the left, it has the identical right button and the ZR button and a plus button. Alongside, it also has a special button, signature buttons with label XYAB. Below the XYAB buttons, place the right joystick and a home button to a shortcut to the home screen. At the bottom part, it has a USB Type-C port for charging. It uses a lithium-ion battery and the capacity is 3750 mAh. The charging speed is 39 Watt and it will take up to 3 hours of charging time. At the back, there is a pair of stereo speakers at the back of the console. The average playtime on this console is around 3 to 4 hours depending on the game that the user play itself. The console uses Nvidia custom Tegra processor chipset, which is powerful to run games that require heavy graphics processing. It is actually amazing how this console can run a heavy graphics game since this console only has 4GB of RAM. The device has an integrated 32GB of storage and it can be expandable through a micro SD card up to 2TB of memory. There are three major advantages highlight regarding this console. The first one is you get this at cheaper price. Unlike its competitor, for example, Steam Deck. At the price point of 500 ringgit, you can get a used Nintendo Switch already with some games installed. While the Steam Deck price range has a big gap, a single-use Steam Deck will price at 2,500 ringgit, and it will usually comes with no games at all. In this case, Nintendo Switch Lite save you a fortune for a similar functions and features. The second advantage is the Nintendo Switch Lite lets you share the game's library via the account sharing features. You can log in the other's Nintendo account and download the games from the Nintendo eShop. To sum up. It will save you once again in terms of buying games. Different from the other's handheld console that usually can't share the account to download the digital games, the compatibilities are a big win here once again in the Nintendo Switch Lite side. The third advantage is Nintendo Switch Lite has two options when it comes to choose what games you want to play. First way is you can buy the games from the online Nintendo eShop or you can either buy games physically in the game cartridge. The game cartridge is a physical, small and compact memory card that has a pre-downloaded games in the game cartridge. Sometimes, the physical game cartridge always come with things like a limited game cartridge case and special limited edition gift. The benefit when you buy a physical game cartridge is, you can sell the game back once you have finished the game and you can use the money to buy another newer games. Despite of all the advantages, there are yet three major disadvantages about the Nintendo Switch Lite. The first one is the stereo speaker. The sound level of the stereo speaker in this console were a little bit too slow. You need to put it to the maximum level of sound to get a better gaming experience. 
Playing games with slow or no sound will make the game less enjoyable and less interesting. The second disadvantage is the multiplayer game pass subscription. In order to play online games in the console, you need to buy online Nintendo subscription pass. The price are quite expensive as you need to pay 80 ringgit a year. For example, you already bought a 150 ringgit game and then you still need to pay additional 80 ringgit a year subscription. If you don't buy the subscription, you will not be able to play the online multiplayer. It will cost you more, unlike the Steam Deck that has no premium subscription to play multiplayer games. The last advantage of this Nintendo Switch Lite is the screen itself. The screen on this console were not sharp as its competitor. For example, ROG Ali from Asus uses an OLED screen. OLED screen is more sharp, better details accuracy and the maximum brightness are much more better than the Nintendo Switch Lite. The screen sharpness and brightness are vital for player as the screen quality will affect the gameplay and the gaming experience. That's all from me. I hope you guys can design the right gaming consoles that suits you well. And remember, a gamer will be always a gamer.